What's up guys, Jared back again. So I've got a really cool ROM I wanted to show you guys. Uh, it's called Spectrum ROM by the name uh, by a guy by the name of uh, Octane. He's actually also a fellow Canadian, so big props to him for creating this ROM for us. Now if those of you, for those of you I should say, uh, out there that are into uh, stock custom ROMs, uh, this is something that I really think you should check out. This is, in my opinion, a diamond in the rough. There's only about two pages on a thread on XDA. Uh, but this ROM is well worth the download. Now, as far as compatibility with the different S4s out there, um, it should definitely work for the i9505, although obviously you're going to have to flash uh, appropriate kernels. Uh, those of you with AT&T i337Ms, or not Ms, I'm sorry, that's Canadian, but the i337s, um, you're just going to have to do the appropriate low-key uh, methods, things like that. There's also instructions on the um, uh, installation instructions for AT&T uses on the actual thread itself, which I'll be posting a link of in the description down below for you guys to go and check out. Uh, that said, why do I like this ROM? Well, first of all, it's got some very nice light theming. So you'll notice right there up at the top status bar, we've got some very nice uh, white icons. Go ahead and pull that down. And our toggle uh, buttons there are themed white as well. Same thing if we flipped it to the quick settings, boom, we've got access to all of our buttons there and they're in that white sort of theme. So uh, very lightly themed. Um, also, we've got a transparent status bar and a transparent uh, weather widget. Uh, the ROM itself is deodexed, it's zip aligned, um, it will also zip line on boot, so that's really great. We have that four-way um, reboot option here, so going to restart, reboot, hot boot, download, and recovery. Awesome stuff. Um, everything works on it. I haven't noticed any instability issues whatsoever, no random reboots. <clears throat> um, it's got the Stiletto uh, S4 version 1 kernel, so we'll go ahead jump into more down to about device and you'll notice that we've got the kernel version which is the stiletto s4 version one um so far now i can't show you the battery graph just as of yet just because i am currently testing out a zero lemon extended battery of 7500 milliamps so um, i'm testing this out but before i started testing out the battery um it was giving me um about a day to a day and a half of usage now that keep in mind that's based on light usage so that's not like playing a ton of games and you know YouTube and movies and all that stuff just regular keeping data connected Wi-Fi two email accounts um, phone calls text messaging and and, and, and the likes um, what else is cool about this one uh, so there's uh, support for various different scripts out there as well as some under the hood tweaks we also have if we jump into settings my device and jump down to sound here we actually have jump into music effects uh, DSP manager which a lot of you guys out there I'm sure will appreciate big time uh, another cool little uh, tweak here we've got that CRT on and off animation which we all love so much yes I do still have the stock uh, wallpaper lock screen wallpaper I'm gonna be changing that eventually uh, also I know I showed this pointed out the status bar icons to you guys earlier but we've actually got that um, uh, circle icon which has a really cool charging animation when you start charging up it kind of like circles around it and pulses things like that which is really really cool uh, jumping into the application tray right now uh, it does come with apex launcher preloaded um, however when you first flash it by default it'll default to the um, samsung um, touchwiz launcher so if you want to uh, the options right there so you don't have to download it i suppose there's your dsp manager uh, application swipe over we've got add away which is awesome go ahead jump in there and download the appropriate um, sources and hosts and uh, go ahead and start blocking those application uh, advertisements we've got floating notifications uh, ready to go for y'all and we actually actually also have the exposed installer so go ahead install the exposed uh, framework and then you can go ahead and um, download and install the NoTouch Exposed uh, module. Now it says that it's unsupported device and this is actually I believe developed for the i9505 Galaxy S4 um, but with that said there are a lot of these uh, modifications and customizations that do in fact work with our i337s and i337ms um, but not all of them so you're just going to have to kind of play around see which ones work best for you. Um, a lot of them do work for me but there I have run across some I mean there's so many customizations I can't tell you which ones specifically do and don't work. Um, there's a lot that I did like that I was playing with and a lot of them that I found kind of, um, you know, not, not so much for me. So all kinds of really, really great um, things in here. So you can, you know, this kind of adds an extra level of customization if you do decide to go that step further uh, in ROM customization. A really great ROM, guys, so far. I highly recommend it. Um, battery life's great. Stable as all hell get loose. Um, you know, no random reboots. Everything just works. So that's what I like about these stock custom ROMs, that everything always just works just with some added modifications and customizations. Like I said before though, guys, I'll be posting a link in the description below. Go check it out. Um, see if it's something you're interested in. There's a full list of all the detailed features and things like that of this particular ROM on the thread. This is something that I highly recommend to those of you out there that are looking for something nice and lightweight 
500 megabytes of bloatware has been removed from this ROM, so it's pretty light on its toes, if you will. Um, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, don't be shy to click that likes button down below. If you're new to the channel, you might want to subscribe for more videos like this in the future. Um, and you can always stay up to date on all things The Smoking Android by following me on Twitter and Google+. Those links will be in the description below as well. That's it for now, though, guys. Thanks, as always, so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Cheers.